brothers and sisters, today my devotion really pricked my heart and I thought it might be something that would help each of you. Um, sometimes I get really busy and I really get caught up in things that's rushing around and when I finally find myself sitting down for just a, a, a evening to relax, I think, oh, what have I forgot? What have I missed? And I begin to look through my calendar to make certain that this free time really is my time. And I don't like that feeling. I don't like that at all. And so today's devotion really, really smote my heart. If you know you are overwrought, nervous, quick-tempered, worried, it may well be because you are not praying enough. Communion with God is the most soul-calming force known. It will lift you out of the wild hurly-burly of a busy life into the serenity that surrounds His throne. It will correct your perspective and give events, people, and things their proper value. It will help you realize that the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18, look that up. Of course, it's easy to tell ourselves that there isn't time to pray. What with the pace of modern life, radio, television, newspapers, magazines, Yet the more rushed life is, the more crowded our daily program, the more we need God. Ouch. Anyone else feel that? And if we would have his peace, we must find time to pray. Indeed, we must learn to bring all things to him in prayer. As the Apostle Paul wrote to the Philippians, have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. Philippians 4 and 6. Now, the answer is coming up in verse 7. It says, with what result if we do these things? And the Bible tells us, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, peace of mind is possible. God has made provision for it. It is one of the rich gifts of his love. You may have it if you want it. And you may have it now. Why wait, brothers and sisters? Why wait till this evening? Why wait till Sunday when you can pray right now and begin to call on God as the Bible tells us to do? And he promises that he will. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, that's our promise today. That is our promise for our future. God has it and he will give it to us. It is that wonderful, everlasting peace. Take time to pray.